wicked disappointed this labor force of this world. So Cumberland Farms. Stopped here, I figured I'd get some drinks. I get Yank on ice cream because he's been such a good boy. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So previously, we had a little issue of fuel going places where it shouldn't. So let's get this, yep, oh, we can see it. It's already spraying. I was gonna say it started. It's just pouring right out of here. So hopefully we can have them just make us a line that runs down and goes into there. I'm gonna go see what they can do. So we gotta pop that off and see. Got it off of there. We're good here. So, we're good on the one. What do we gotta do now? <sighs> this one. This line's just too tight. I didn't realize I should have run it down and around like it was. So, we'll go get one made and we'll get it longer. So Chelmsford Crane is here. They're gonna actually swap out the trommels. So we gotta run a hydraulic place and uh, get going. So it's a good little crane there, unlike the one that wasn't moving last night. Well, that was a nice crane, but when they're not moving, they are very expensive. So, but we'll see how quick we are. But we're not doing so hot right now. I got the line made for the uh, planner, but the fuel line he said I'd have to leave it there and he probably wasn't gonna get to it today So I took it with me because I could probably jerry rig it or we're gonna Figure something out. I'm not really sure uh, But that tractor's got to run today that part I can get it from deer. It's not an expensive part But getting it from deer. I probably won't see it till the beginning of the next week um, And I thought about going to the Parker star but that's hit or miss if, and I'm not gonna waste another hour of my day driving out there to have them tell me that they can't do it. And you can call them, but they're like, just bring it in. So, I did leave uh, the numbers on the piston seal, or the piston to get seals for it so that we can do that for the dump trailer, but got a lot of stuff to do. So we'll get back and figure out what we're gonna do with this line. Somebody had brazed it before. I cannot braze. I never have good luck with it. So in the time I've left, they got the one unloaded, I think. I don't know. We'll go see what Blake says. They're doing crane work. Get my brother on the channel. So this is the actual screen. And this is how big it is, how much fines can go through. So. I think, yeah, this is the one they pulled out. They're putting another one back in, so. Give us an update. Chelsea Crane, we're doing good. That's a, that's a three quarter? That's a three quarter, yeah. That's the half. The half's going in to get rebuilt. So, you pull that right out and then swap them. To make all sorts of sizes. Well, they'll drop that back in and that rotates around and actually all the material goes through and then falls through and then the bigger stuff comes out the tailings. They've lifted up some things before, so. Nikki from Chomps of Crane, welcome to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we do on YouTube? Oh yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, you guys know the deal. Probably not patient, so he's, you know, he's running the company. <laughs> so then they'll pick this one up, put it back on the trailer.
Be you, puppy dog. Emma with all the questions. 1.8 million? 1.3? 1. 1.3. Oh 1. 1.3 million. 2018. <laughs> how how much can it lift? 115 ton. All the way extended or? No. Oh, with no. it all the way in? Right right on the this bumper. Side. Right on the bumper. Because he, he can't lift it with me on it. Yeah. Oh, muscle man. <laughs> there and then they can drop the pistons down and hook that counterweight back up to it. Camera's out here taking pictures for the gram. Cam on the gram. One point three. That's pretty wild. jack right under the front. Blake out here work, working that side hustle life. I'm trying to get a discount. <laughs> yeah, got to do anything for a discount. Look at this. That's wild. They can pick some things up with it. They got an even bigger one. You got a five axe off the shelf. And then they got their older ones. Right? Yeah. I don't know if the old ones are still Can I slide that off? back up ready to rock and roll well I ordered one of the lines and then I was like I gotta get it going so I went and grabbed our fla flaring set and I cut off all the bad pieces and I pulled it up and had to bend it a little bit and we got some kinks but I think there's enough fl flow that we should be good I primed it up and I don't see any leaks so and then I was like honestly it's just a 5 16th pipe that's bent and got ends on it. So, it is very nice bends. And so it goes down, around, down, up, over here, and then up. So, it's a little finesse, but that should get us going. Hopefully, keeps us going, and we'll just switch it out with that pipe. But in the future, yeah, I should have just got a 5 16th pipe and bent it. I could use the same ends, just put flange flares on it. 
Yeah, amateur hour. But... Alrighty, we better get going. It's gonna get friggin' warm today. Okay, ready to party. Except for this door's got some. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, all clean for Yanko to look out. Um, threw a new hydraulic filter in it. I do like doing that because these things get a little finicky. And that's the best way of uh, saving it. Don't think that's what came out of it because that was, um, it had a little bit of oil left over in it. It wasn't a clean pail. But we're ready to rock and roll. Got some cold AC, not perfect, but some. Granted, these things are never going to be perfect. Um, the cabs are just challenging. So, got the stops in. Tire's still holding with tire jet. I'm proud of it. So, I'm going to go jump in the Mac and, uh, we're going to tender out some fertilizer. I was just thinking I needed to go pick up corn seed and, uh, sure enough, here it is. Rolled in. I was like, oh, I was going to go get it Saturday. But, not like they dropped it off. So, appreciate it, Jake and, uh, Louie, everybody else at Pleasant View. It might not look like much, but I got some Master's Choice, and I'm, it's disappointed that Master's Choice got bought, and I don't see the seed company going to, I don't see the brand going to be there because they didn't plant much seed to fill orders for this year, and bought. I personally bought some Master's Choice. Um, it's not my 5250 because that was incredibly unavailable, but it's very similar. This is Roundup Ready. Everything's Roundup Ready, so we might do post-emerge stuff. Haven't decided as far as spraying what we're going to do. We're going to see how the weed control. But our nutritionists pushed us and the seed guys pushed us to do, plant some red tail. Um, they were heavy hitters in the silage uh, World Cup last year in Madison and had some really good results. So we're going to plant a lot of red tail this year um, and see how it goes. So a little bit of master's choice um, and a lot of red tail. But might not look like much, but... That's sixteen thousand dollars worth of seed sitting there. So that is why putting the seed where you want it to go is a crucial component because sixteen thousand dollars of seed, ten years, it's a lot of money over the years of a planter. So it's worth putting your money into the planter and making sure it's good. But alrighty, we're gonna go jump in. Now we're gonna tender some fertilizer. So hey Jake, Louie, everybody down there. Appreciate you guys getting this up to me. Saves me a trip. It is, it's an hour and a half down to their place, but um, yeah, so three hours of my day, probably I was planning to go on Sunday. Um, so now I don't have to do that. It frees me up, so appreciate you guys. go swimming you don't like the heat okay I got a wet dog for the day but he's loving life we should have uh, just about 3,000 three tons left 6,000 pounds in it yeah should be a decent day and then we'll go to the pond you know we're big on the channel about not starving so grab a cheeseburger sub New London's in Concord Really in a good place to park a semi in here. You don't know how much busyness. So, yeah. We could pull right up here. How are you doing? You ready for lunch? We're over here. We should walk over. I got to see little spots over there. It actually came up better than I thought in the flooded areas. There's just some bald spots that flooded out. So we'll hit it with the air seeder. And then, uh... Yeah, that will be probably be tomorrow morning. That way, that's done. All, the grass seedings are looking pretty fire, so I'm I'm very happy with how the air seeder came out and the results we get out of it. But we're sitting here waiting on the spreader to come. This ground we actually dissed. I was planning on putting cover crop on it or seeding it, and then we never did anything, which I wish 
everything's gonna get cover crop pretty much next year I just it just does a better job I, I'm a big fan of it so let's uh see what we got for a sandwich oh, that's a good piece you want some cheeseburger there you go bud you have a good day you're all wet living the best life we are back to spreading there you go so this was the soil that we had to put extra k mag on last year um because the magnesium levels were so low it was deficient in the crop we did tissue samples out of here so we're gonna go a little bit heavier plus most of our crop is low in uh k and well k mag it's all low in k mag so or it all needs k mag so this year we uh switched it up a little bit there's some extra in it as far as ingredients to help jump those uh numbers up figures got a tiny little bit left blew that hose there that's okay just push that in when it goes around probably got 50 100 pounds so it is what it is but we'll have to get a new hose made up for that that was pretty good timing like we weren't completely empty but i climbed in and i uh i kicked down the side so there's probably like 50 pounds in there and uh sure enough went to go run the big auger again poof it it puffed and i was like oh throw that off so we were okay but i'm surprised honestly that this tender trailer, I haven't had more hydraulic lines because it lived a life of being a tender trailer for, um, where'd we get it from? Was that a Brent dealer, I think? Brent? I don't remember now. Pretty busy day, Friday afternoon, 2.30 here in Concord, Massachusetts. You gotta watch out for pedestrians. They just jump out in the crosswalks and then they go, so, like this lady. I saw her coming.
use double the size, but in manure ground, not a chance. So we'll finish up this. Got a little field. Jump around a little bit. Yeah, things. Four o'clock. So hopefully, uh, I'll be done at a reasonable time tonight. Next fall, this little one here. We're gonna seed it down because I hate driving across the hay fields to get in to that little one. It's different landowners, that's why we, it was done that way, but since then we've realized that they're not just gonna have us farm it for a year and then leave. So we'll, uh, we'll seed that down for convenience, but got the other one in the woods done. Got that one done. Two more to go. Honestly, first cutting is about ready, so. Got some spots that are a little further along, but next seven days, yep, we're gonna have to get after it. I'm not ready, not ready at all. Waiting on the train, it's the only downside of going right through here. Definitely gonna have to stop at Cumberland Farm to get up ice cream for him and ice cold drinks on the way back. Train's slowing down progress. I don't even know where it is. There it comes. Commuter train that goes into Boston. That line, I think, goes out to Fitchburg. Right into it.
get disappointed in this labor force of this world. So Cumberland Farms. Stopped here, I figured I'd get some drinks. I get Yanko an ice cream because he's been such a good boy. Closed. They got a sign on the door saying, sorry because of uh, lack of labor, blah, blah, blah. Okay, alrighty. Can some of you like start pulling along? Well, if you're watching the channel, you're you're probably a blue collar, work, hard working person because it's kind of how the channel's based around. If you know somebody, it was being useless to society. Tell them to go get a job. Because then I go over to Dunkin' Donuts, I was like, alrighty, I'll get some whipped cream, some waters, something. Closed as well. It's seven on a Friday. Wild. I was like, I'll stop at Walgreens then, because I need some laundry detergent. And other things in life. They're closed too, so we went in this place. I don't even, I've never gone in it before. But. And I'm dragging a chain. So that, no, oh, we're gonna sit down here. Let's see, I got a water. I got some vanilla ice cream. Let me get it open for you. Oh, it's got like a safety lid for kids or something. Hold on. Here you go, buddy. That's a big ice cream. I don't think you're gonna eat all of it, but what else they get? It's more kind of like uh, yuppity, organic-y. Do you like your vanilla ice cream? It's a little hot. And I got some cantaloupe cuts. Mainly, I like cantaloupe, but then uh, he's got a water bowl then. There you go, buddy. So, alrighty. We're gonna enjoy our quick snack and then we're gonna go do the last field. Cantaloupe's pretty good. Usually people's cantaloupe is like too far gone or not enough ripeness. And you bite into it and there's no flavor. I don't think he's minding the ice cream. It's a nice chain though. Real nice chain. I always wonder, people walk by, they see the tractor. Just take a look at me, like look at me right now. And all they say is howdy. I'm a farmer they say howdy or is because I don't think that's a usual thing around here to say he's probably over there like am I seeing things so other than getting this cover crop in really really late and the soil being sandier and drier you can see the distinct difference of triticale to rye um I think I did put it on a little heavier Triticale is much greener, and then there's this light green. That's the rye. So, ooh, there's a coyote running across over there. Oh no, it's a fox. Yep, there it goes. Okay, not letting Yank go out. So as far as this field, because somebody's gonna bring it up. Yes, there's still garbage here. I had a meeting with the state as part of my permit of what goes on um, here and there, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, and they said, oh, we'll work on getting that out. It is a, it's a, it, I don't know, it could be a, it looks like a small coyote. Stop. So at some point that's going to get out. Um, and then I just got to put a buffer, which actually right now, let me see. That's a decent buffer right there. That's just going to be triticale that grows up though. They expect me to put some... I understand some of the wetland side of it, things like that, but they expect me to put a buffer that then keeps it nicer, but the buffer never gets maintained because it's in the field. But the best idea would be this all be grass at some point, but I need more over in this area to make it worth it at that point. And I don't think I'm going to get more over this way. Uh, Alrighty, let's plow this up and uh, party it. All finished up with plowing, except for the 30 acres or so of triticale that we're going to chop off, and then we're going to get manure on, then we're going to plow it. So, we're finished up here. I'm going to get this thing home. Tomorrow it's going to go on the disc and the rolling baskets. We got a little bit to 
run the rolling basket air seeder and then we'll take the seeder off. Wow. Holy smokes. It's been a long day. We're gaining though. We are gaining. Right? You and me, we're gaining. When I say we or where, it's usually me and Yang Kong. So I'll pull up here. Hopefully not get hit by a car or nothing. Jump out. Put the gate, the chain back up. And uh We'll send it on home. How was your day? Hot? But was the ice cream worth it? It was okay, mediocre ice cream? You've been a good boy. We got a lot done today. So chisel plowing is done till we get the triticale off. Um, roughly 30 acres local. So none of this far distance running or anything like that. All the triticale is either right here on the farm or mile and a half down the road so then we'll get it off we'll put manure and we'll get back into chisel plowing but we'll let the old girl cool down we did just run 13 miles home so works her a little bit Whew. it's been a it's been a good day i wish the ac worked a little bit more so we got to figure that out but tomorrow Take the air seeder in the morning real quick, do up some spots. Take the air seeder off the rolling basket, hook the discs, the rolling baskets, and then we'll probably get into some work. There might be some rain coming in on Sunday, which will mean we'll finish up what we have on the planner. Um, I'm gonna con somebody into doing the names. I know people are like, oh, have a vinyl guy do this, that, blah, blah, blah. I don't the names might take a good bit doing it in vinyl and getting it in. I don't know. So we're going to give it a try and see. But appreciate you guys watching along. It was a good day. It was definitely a good day. Tractor ran great. My uh, field fix, well, we fixed it here, but my fix on the fuel line, I'm very happy that it's working. Um, otherwise, we would be not in a good place. Well, I love running this thing. Just need to get the AC dialed in uh, and get the hydraulics a little better i think there's some tweaking i can do and setting valves and stuff like that but alrighty i'm gonna get out of here it's almost 10 it's after 10 now probably but appreciate you guys and i'll see you on the next one have a good one